fall and winter coastal storms now they're becoming more frequent every year. Well, it's scary for some homes, they become like a little islands. Yeah, we can't hang around because <laughs> of that erosion. New Tuck needs to move because of a lot of factors. We have an erosion problem that's uh, been taking away approximately a year maybe about a 80 to 100 feet a year. Not only that, but the permafrost is melting. That's causing the land to actually sink, which is then in turn flooding all of this area, even towards the north side of town. Within the next maybe year, year and a half, homes will start disappearing in the Nenlik River. That's how close it is. We don't have time. We need to move fast. Climate change does a lot of things. Number one, it melts your permafrost. You see a lot of flooding when you have low land like that, and that's starting to affect us. All my life we've been living like this, no running water, no sewer system. So that's one luxury we don't have. Communities like this, <clears throat> they're, they're not exactly healthy type. Because uh, we don't have like a proper disposal. You know, all of the water sources around the area have been tested, uh, and unfortunately, uh, there's a high incidence of E. coli and all of this. So, you know, not only do we have the threat of uh, homes uh, being engulfed by the river, but you have all of these other things, the health factor, the water factor. The last storm, which happened in uh, last November, October, literally moved food sheds and it was under people's homes thank god it wasn't real bad but the threat is coming and we know that 